this puppy needs to breathe very quickly. I don't think that one's gonna make it. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at your great big belly. You're so cute. In Richmond, it's an exciting day for one of Scott's long-time clients, devoted pet owner Claire. So they're not ready to come out yet. Three-year-old Betty is a rare Celium Terrier and is expecting her first litter of pups. And you're going to be slowing down even more carrying all that around. Celium Terriers were hugely popular in the 40s and 50s. The royal family had them, loads of Hollywood stars had them. But in recent years, Celium numbers have declined so much, they're now classified as a vulnerable breed. I can't save the breed in one go, but I can make a contribution, and they are such lovely pets. Oh, you're the lickiest dog on the planet. <laughs> Don't you? Yes. Yes. It's a shame that more people aren't able to benefit from having one of these lovely dogs in their life. Claire searched throughout the UK to find a Celium dad for Betty's brood. Betty's puppy daddy is called Hector, lives down in Devon. I took her down there six weeks ago after having had all sorts of blood tests to determine the right time to go. And it was pretty much love at first sight. They were very keen on each other. Well, the long and the short of it is they were at it before I'd finished my cup of tea. <laughs> Come on, then. Off we go. Go and see Scotty, see what's in your tummy. With Betty's pregnancy now well advanced, it's time for a visit to Scott to get her checked over, to make sure everything's going to plan. This way. I'm terrified about her having the puppies, so it's going to be really emotional. Good girl. Go on, then. But Betty and I are doing this together. Neither of us have done it before. Um, so, yeah, we're learning as we go. I've got the internet and she's got Mother Nature. <laughs> Here's see Scott. Let's go. Come on, then. Let's go. In Richmond, Claire and her very pregnant pooch, Betty, are arriving at the practice. Here we are. Hello, Hello. expecting Grandma. Hi. How are you? <laughs> good, how are you? Really good. Here she is. Wow, who's been eating all the pies? Uh, well, I'm hoping that it's... Well, I know it's not pies, it's puppies. You think it's puppies? I think it's puppies. All right. Well, come on then, you. Let's waddle on into the consult room, shall come we? Come on, then. Let's come go on. this way. Come on, can you fit through the door? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Come on! It's, it's all, all right. Good Sorry, girl. I'll stop the fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I saw Claire was quite a surprise. She brought in her Mancoon cat, Chip, and I had to investigate a lump in his abdomen. Oh, my God, look at that! It's the biggest fur ball I've ever seen in my entire life. But this time round, it's Betty's tummy that's in the spotlight, but I've got a much better idea about what I should be expecting. She's got a particular way of sitting now, <laughs> with her back legs wide apart, and her tummy drops down between her legs, and she just looks like, oh, I really? remember that with my wife, all three of them, like, so that, that, the pregnant sort of sit, you know, the woman like that. Yeah, and it's exactly <laughs> like... <laughs> and there's always a <laughs> sigh. <laughs> Is she doing that? Yes, she's doing that. Poor baby. So I'm going to listen to your heart, missus, and then the exciting bit of listening to your baby's <gasps> hearts. That is exciting. Good. Yeah, sounds very good. Obviously, being pregnant puts a lot of strain on a dog's yeah, yeah. body. So um, the, the, the heart is at okay. the moment sounds A-OK -okay and absolutely fine. So I think what we need to do is to perform an ultrasound yep. and just have a look for healthy puppies with heart beating and just to make sure they're all forming nicely. We want it all to go nice and smoothly, don't we, Bets? Yeah. After a full physical exam, I can see that Betty is in perfect physical health. She's in great shape. And now it's the really exciting bit. We find out exactly how many puppies she might have inside her. Good girl. Good girl. OK. All right, sweetheart, so this will be a little bit cool. All right, Claire, so that's one of her babies. Oh! Oh, my God. oh wow! Look, oh, look at that! Wriggling, did you see? 
That one's really active. That one's going to be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a special moment for any parent seeing their babies for the very first time. Oh, oh is that a yawn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little yawn. <laughs> seeing them wriggling around and almost waving their little paws at Grandma. Claire's ecstatic. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, that's amazing. Hi, Nana. <laughs> you look very young. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that's all going on in Betty's tummy. I thought I might get a heartbeat. I didn't think you'd be able to actually see their faces and their spines and then the wiggling legs. Oh, my God, it was just so amazing. But you can see this one, two, three little bundles of joy. There's one. Oh. You got that? Yeah. So top it's left. Like pop in. <laughs> yeah. And then there's yeah. also one top right. OK. Is that a different one to the one you saw before? I think so, yeah. Wow. But, as you can see, how closely packed they are. Yeah, I'm losing count. Now it's just a waiting game and I've told Claire she can call me day or night and I'll be there in a heartbeat because I know she'll be worried and I want to be by her side for when the moment comes. Rest now. Because okay. you won't yeah. be having much rest very soon. No. Nor will you. <laughs> girl. You're doing so well. Go on, well done. A week after her ultrasound, Celium Terrier Betty's labour has started. I've just seen a foot. <laughs> I'm scared and it would be really good to have Scott here, so um, hopefully he'll be here soon before the first one comes. But the first puppy isn't waiting for Scott. That's two feet. He'll squeeze his head out, baby. I feel I need to pull the puppy out, but I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I do wish Scott was here. <laughs> You're doing so well. Keep going, baby. Oh! Good God, that one's got a spot in the middle of his back. Scott is on the way, but traffic is heavy. Hi, Claire, you all right? Hi. First puppy's out apart from the head. So Claire has called him for some mobile support. Through underneath her. There we go. Yay, well done. Yes. I'm happy breathing. OK. Uh, uh, no. If there's any stuff in the mouth, just sort of wipe that away and then give it a good rub on the chest. Come on, come on, come on. You all right? I don't know. Yeah, so rub on the chest quite firmly and have the head facing downward. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That was a breath. All right, but he's okay. Yeah, he think he's okay. I'm asking if you're okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. okay. All right, I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> Bye. That was incredible and horrifying and terrifying and amazing all at the same time. Oh, it's so exciting! You're a mummy, Betty. Well done. But Betty has no time to relax. You're right, B. I'm going to start pushing again. The second puppy is on its way. Oh, she's pushing so hard. Good girl, Betty. Come on, puppy number two. You can really see how much her, her whole body has to strain as the contraction goes through, and, and just every muscle is screaming. It really looks terribly violent. That one is enormous. This pup is born without a hitch. Betty, you're doing amazingly. She's a superstar. Look at your two babies. Oh, oh I'm glad to see you. It's all right. They're the cavalry's right, so here. Right. Yes, exactly. Don't you worry. <laughs> Come in. Scott has arrived just in time to help the third little Celium Terrier into the world. Come on, Betty. Just going to give her a bit of a hand. Whoa. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice, healthy, big one, that one. OK, Betty, there you are, honey. And then there were three. Seconds later... Oh, what? Puppy number four. She just popped out another puppy. Oh, she did? Wow. <laughs> that was I can't believe work. that just happened. 
Wow, that was speedy. She didn't even seem to be having contractions. No. It's almost so like that, okay? the big one's blo broken the Yeah, uh, the dam. Blockage. Now they're all flooding out. Yes. <laughs> yes. But an hour later... Just absolutely no signs of contraction. Betty's labour with poppy number five has come to a worrying halt. So how big or small should be the gap? You hope for every 30 minutes that they're like little buses coming through. Yes. But anything longer than you start tapping your watch. OK. Where's my bus? Where's my puppy? So you've got a decision to make. Either we can stimulate her further or we can use some drugs to do that. So I think we okay. should probably... OK, yeah, no, I would definitely go for stimulation before drugs. Yeah. Let's go. All right, Come on. lots of encouragement. Up you go, 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 up She's so tired, she just wants to go to sleep. I'm tired and want to go to sleep as well. It's been a very long day. Sorry, baby. I know, you're looking all comfortable. Yeah, though. you're looking Unfortunately, very that's the relaxed. point, is we have to try and make bit you a little too bit relaxed. uncomfortable. Yeah. So this was some nasty injections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can barely feel the puppy. It's right at the end of my index finger, so it's a long way off. And yet, Betty is nearly two hours from the last puppy, and that's when we start getting into the danger zone. Scott has no choice but to give Betty an injection of oxytocin to try to stimulate contractions. Good girl. So that should work quite quickly. In the next okay. minute or two, we should see some fairly strong contractions, hopefully. Let's get her up again. Keep pushing. Good Brave girl. girl, that's it. Good girl, That's good a good girl. girl. That's great. Oh, pop back in. Are we nearly there? So just the head is coming into the pelvic canal and then it's just sliding back uh. and she stops. So she just, just needs to do a couple of good, strong pushes and we are... Good girl. Nice, no, sweetie. There's a little bit of blood this time around, which is uh, just a bit different from the others. That's it. Good girl. That's it. Come on. Every single contraction is getting weaker and weaker because she's getting weaker and weaker. Come on, buddy. I really need this puppy out now. Come on. I just want this puppy out. Come on, that's a good girl. That's it. You're doing really well. Come on. Just, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a good girl. That's it. With this puppy in the position that it's in now, with its head stuck out, <laughs> Okay, so on the next push, we're just going to try and pull this puppy yeah. out, OK? It's making little breaths, trying to breathe, trying to survive, but still well and truly stuck. Come on. Come on, don't give up. This puppy is really compromised, and I'm just really worried that it is not going to come out alive. Go on, 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 go on. Come on. Push, 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 push. If you pull it out too hard, you can separate its vertebrae and its neck and kill it. You can break its legs, you can do all sorts of things, so you just can't pull them too hard. So it's so frustrating. I know, sweetie. I need one big push from you. Come, Come on. on. Good girl. Good girl, I know, good girl, I know, good girl. I know. I'm sorry. She's a really tough dog. She's a fighter. And she's still fighting to get that puppy out. OK, here we go. Here oh! We go. Yeah, OK. So give me that towel really yep. quickly. Yep. Stethoscope there, please. This puppy needs to breathe very quickly. I not think that one was going to make it. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, this oh. breath. OK, we've got a heartbeat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Bloody hell, that one made me sweat. Uh, <laughs> I really thought you were gone a little bit. Come on, just give me another one. There we go.
You're welcome. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm never doing this again. No. <laughs> no. 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 This is enough. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep one. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, that was, that was intense. You can go back to your mother. There you go. Have that one. Keep an eye on her. She's trouble. <laughs> you know? Good girl. I didn't think that one was going to live. Really didn't think it. It's been a marathon labour for three-year-old Betty. But number five is the last of her puppies. And now the new mum can finally relax. Let's just see if the milk bar's open. Got some milk there. Good girl. There we go. Successful evening. Long evening. Yes. Pretty All cool. a good outcome. Yeah, thank goodness, eh? Yeah, amazing. Yeah. What a day. <laughs> very long, very exciting, and in parts, completely terrifying day. And we did it. We added five extra Celium Terriers to the world. Betty is so amazing, and I love her even more than I did before. The joys of birth, eh? I don't know how people do it regularly. Well, that's the thing, is that no woman that's given birth ever tells the truth about birth, because <laughs> no one would ever do it if they did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've been through it times five. Yes. Mm. Oh, well done, Betty. Yeah. Come on then, in we go. Two weeks later in Richmond, in some much anticipated visitors. Oh my god! <laughs> That's hey. oh, they adorable. And they're getting a warm welcome from practice manager Maz and receptionist Kirsty. Oh. Betty, yeah. well done. How They're clever are you? Yeah. They have grown a lot. She's been working Good. hard feeding them. Claire has brought Betty and her puppies in for their first health check. I've been coming to this practice for such a long time and they all feel kind of like extended family and this is something that's happened not just to me but to everybody I know here. So it's exciting to bring them in. With those girlish screams of delight, I knew it could only be one person. How are you, yes, gorgeous? There is puppy cuddling going on. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Look at you, proud mum, grandma. Tired mum, <laughs> grandma. It's a lovely moment to see Betty and all the puppies happy and well after the, well, quite stressful birth. Come on then, Too let's get bright. in. Come on. Come on. <laughs> So to see them back today, Claire looks much more relaxed and Betty seems happy as well. It's perfect. At least Betty won't have to go through it again. No, you're all right, Betty. You don't have to do that again. You've done your bit for yes. the future of the Celium Terrier. Yeah. Well yes. done. Well done, girl. Hey. So today is the first time Scott will have seen them since the birth and since he helped Betty to deliver her babies safely. So just remind me, which one's number one? It was this one, wasn't this it? This is number one. That's number okay. two. Yeah. This is the one with almost that little panic button on the... Yes, that is panic button. <laughs> the one that you pressed and then called me. Yes. <laughs> In a panic. Exactly. Yes. I was super anxious for about a week. It was just so traumatic. Wow, 720 grams already. And he's the smallest. I'm OK now. Betty is into a routine with feeding them. So it's all calm now until they start running around and creating mayhem. Your eyes are open. Hello, Hello world. world. Why don't we go in order, so I have three and number four. Number three. I remember you. This was the first one that I got to meet. Yeah. Eight. Number four. Yeah. Come hey, on. After examining all the brothers and sisters, I finally get to puppy number five. Yeah. There we are. I'm going to call you heart attack. Because <laughs> you nearly gave us us. Shit, I know. Yeah. It's, it's very emotional to see her because it was such a difficult birth. But, uh... We got the result, didn't we? And then we've got you. Yeah, she's eh? presenting no problems at all. No, that's amazing. Fighting fit. Yeah. As a vet, you go through lovely highs like this, but also really deep lows where you lose patience. So in this instance where I know that my presence made a massive impact, yes, you lose patience, but this one, I saved. You're perfect, aren't you? Yes, you are, which is a miracle. 
to get you home and give them another feed. Yep. I do, I know where you are. So if you take the next turn right and then you'll come to a T intersection and turn left. It's late evening and Chris has been called back to the Bondi clinic yep. for an emergency. All right, we'll see you soon. So we've got a pug coming in that's expecting pups. They're notoriously difficult at this time. They find it really hard to get their pups through their narrow pelvis. I'm expecting a caesarean, but we're gonna have to see it first and he should be here right now. There you go. Do you want to do this? Yeah, there you go, Chris. Do you want to bring it straight through? Yep. Okay. I'll have a look at her. Thanks, mate. Since about 10 o'clock this morning, she's been panting, shivering, temperature drop. Yeah. John's now regretting his decision to allow Bella to have a litter. I feel so bad for doing it. Well, just it's it's all a bit real now. Yeah. I mean, she's she's not a breeding dog. She's a family pet. Um, yeah. Well, I owned her since she was six weeks old. Yeah. And yeah. I can't live without her. Oh, it's okay. X-rays will it's confirm okay. just how big the pups are and how much danger Bella is in. X-ray. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just huge for a pug. It's... Whew. There's no way a 15-month-old dog is, is going to have the energy and the reserves and and the strength to push out six massive puppies. She, she needs a cesarean, there's no other way of looking at it. I, I don't know if we can get them all out alive, but we really have to give them the best chance. It's pretty competitive in there, <laughs> and they'll all be jostling, and sometimes they don't all, all make it, so just brace yourself for that. Right. All right, we'll do okay. our best. As long as she comes through, all right. Yeah. Come on. All right, thank you. No problem. That's all right. All John can do now is wait while Chris and his team begin the extremely delicate operation. They're literally bursting to get out here. <laughs> They're almost overfalling here. Soon after Chris makes an incision, the first of Bella's pups is born, but it's not breathing. Hey, going over there. Give him a little I breath. heard a little noise already. Yeah. Tough love is now needed to save this struggling puppy. And there are five more still to come. Plenty of rubs to stimulate. I'll just go rotate between rubs, breaths. It's got a bit of anaesthetic still in your system. Yeah. I'm getting movement. The firstborn is now breathing, but there are still five more pups to be saved. You ready for me? Uh, I'll, do, I'll do this one. Well. Outside, a desperately worried John waits and hopes. Do you want to start on this one over here? She's starting to gasp, and then I'll start on the one that Chris is on. With so many pups needing urgent attention, even Bondi vet producer Jane Caswell has been called on to help. Come on, baby. Oh, Come on. Keep going, keep going. You can do it. On your shelf. Come on, babe. He's breathing now. Yes. <laughs> that was the first time he's breathing more than once. Another one coming. Let's see. Quick, 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 quick. One by one, the pups splutter to life. How many are in here? Just one? Two. Just two here. You got, that's number five. You guys are going to need to get a rotation on these guys because Mum's yep. got to... The last one. There you go. At last, all six puppies are successfully out. But any joy is short-lived as the team realises the pups may be out of danger, but Bella is not. So she's lost a lot of blood. Her heart rate's dropping as well. The colour's gone from a nice pink colour to, to quite a pale, pale pink. So we're doing our very best to, to treat the, the symptoms of shock that she's going through and blood loss, pumping the fluids through her. But she's a long way from home. She's, she's in a bit of trouble. 
We were sitting on 70 beats per minute before, we're now up to 74, so we're seeing a bit of a response. It's encouraging, but it's, it's by no means over. It's a tense time at the Bondi Clinic as Chris sews up Bella, who's dangerously weak after delivering six puppies. So we've got three girls and three boys. Wow. And the heart rate's coming up too. So it's all good. So far. A few more stitches and we're done. Her heart rate's come up to 85 now. The colour's good. She, she's looking like she might just make it. But it didn't look that way for quite a while. Turns out the puppies and Chris have something in common, given it's past midnight. Why is that a significant time? Could it be, what, a special day? Oh, probably my birthday now. Oh, happy birthday. Poor girl. You should be really proud of her. Yep. She did really well. Six live puppies. Six out of six. <laughs> They're tiny. You can pick them up if you like. Though Bella is still feeling the effects of the anaesthetic, the pups urgently need their first feed. These puppies are new to the world and they need all the help they can get. They need energy quickly. It's been a long night and John finally feels comfortable leaving Bella's side and going home. Thanks, John. See you, mate. So she's now in a normal temperature, which is, oh, I don't know, what do you reckon? A relief? No, not at all. Did you think we'd forgotten that it was somebody else's uh. birthday? <laughs> oh, my pooper doesn't work. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Oh. How's that? Back at Bondi, Bella is adjusting to the demands of motherhood. She just looks a bit overwhelmed by them, but I guess the, the natural process didn't occur. She didn't have to strain for a few hours to deliver the pups and, and be introduced to each one one at a time. She's had to come out of anaesthetic here and just be overwhelmed. And she doesn't know where they come from. So, Bella, I hate to say it, it is like looking in the mirror. <laughs> she seems relaxed when they drink from it, which is great, but she just needs to recognise their smell, lick them a few times, and, and that bond will develop. Bella's now ready to go home. Do you think there's any chance that any one of these could ever be as popular as she is with you? No. No. Yeah. Never. Nobody replaced Bella. I was always pretty sure that Bella meant a lot to John, but then when you see Bella, in the front seat, with John, knowing the wife normally sits in the back, you've got to realise that, that dog means a lot to John. Come on, girlfriend. Up on the Gold Coast at the Animal Emergency Service, Marie has arrived with her heavily pregnant golden retriever, Greta. Good girl. Come on. Greta is fun-loving. She is the light of my life. So I'm coming in today to get Alex to have a look. Here she is. Hey, Greta. She's looking ready. Very pregnant. Isn't she? <laughs> For emergency specialist Dr Alex Hines, cases like this are why she wanted to become a vet in the first place. I love my work and I love what I do. This is more than a job. This is my way of making a difference in the world. I think for me, because I'd been around animals all of my life, it was a decision fairly early on that I wanted to work with animals. You're looking wonderful, aren't you? Glowing, I think, would be the way you put it. Aww. Alex needs to determine exactly how many puppies they could be dealing with. All ready to pop those pups out? I wonder how many you've got in there. When dogs have puppies, there are a number of things that can go wrong, which is why we do X-ray and ultrasound. Come on, let's go. Good girl. My dog's not going up there unless the table's clean. <laughs> what are you doing? It has doing? to be clean for my girl to get up there. Marie isn't just a client, she also works with Alex. She's the kennel attendant in our hospital, which means she pretty much cleans this whole place. All done. We call her Nana Marie because she really is like our Nana. Hey Greta, how you doing? Gerardo is my life partner, but he's also my partner in the hospital. Greta, come over here. Come, Greta. And 
he's very helpful when it comes to heavy lifting. Oh, oh big girl. Job. Good girl. So how many puppies do you think she's got in there, Marie? I think around about 10. I'm going to go with 12. You're going with 12? Yeah. We'll see. Jean? Let's see. Eight. Eight, 10, 12. It's always a bit of a guessing game as to how many puppies are in there. You ready, sweetie? I'm just going to roll you over, Greta. Good girl, good girl. There you go. That's my girl. Ready, team? I think we've pretty much got all of her in. OK, I'll press the button. One, two, three. Find out if I'm the winner. Look at that. Whoa. Look at them all. Wow. There's a lot of babies. Look how crowded them. they are. There's yeah. not room for all. They must be fighting for space. With the X-ray showing multiple puppies overlapping, Alex is concerned some might not be getting enough oxygen or could be crushed. When you've got that many puppies that are all jammed inside a confined space, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Literally filling all of her belly there. Lots of others there, darling. Your work is about to start. Yes. You're a good girl. On the Gold Coast, heavily pregnant Greta has been x-rayed. Owner Marie and vets Alex and Gerardo want to settle a bet and find out how many puppies there are. Here we go. One, two, three. We've taken the x-rays and guess what? 10, 11. Really? 12. There's 12 puppies in there. Alex has won the bet, but now must investigate the possible complications of such a large litter. All right, let's take her through. We know we're there. Any pregnancy comes with its set of risks. She's got 12 puppies that she needs to push out, and she may just become exhausted and not be able to deliver all those puppies herself. If at any stage we feel like she's in trouble, then we would have to discuss about whether we would need to take her to surgery to do a caesarean. The health of each pup is also critical, so Alex must now perform a vital examination. Ultrasound will allow us to see how healthy the puppies are. So we'll be looking for the heart rates of the puppies and that'll help to tell us whether they're in any distress or not. So there's the heart beating. The heart rate for this particular puppy is 185 beats per minute. It's a perfect little puppy heart. It is crowded in there, isn't it? I don't think anyone wants to be that close to their brothers and sisters. <laughs> so is it possible because there's so many puppies crammed in there? that we could be coming into some trouble? That is possible. When you have that many puppies in there all fighting for nutrition and, and blood supply, it can mean that some of them are not getting the nutrient supply that they need. Because if some of them are in distress, it does happen sometimes that we'll have to get in there and get them out quicker, do a caesarean if we have to. You do what's necessary. The heart rate for this particular puppy is normal. All the puppies' heartbeats that I've seen so far look fine. On the Gold Coast at the Animal Emergency Service, vets Alex and Gerardo are performing an ultrasound on heavily pregnant Greta to check the heartbeats of her 12 puppies. What we have here is little puppy's heart, and the heart's beating nicely. Marie, these tests help us to give us more information, but really, we're not going to know how things are going to go until it actually comes time for her to deliver. OK. Now, we can't possibly see all of the puppies on ultrasound, but the ones we can see look healthy. And that's really good news. So everything so far is looking good. Perfect. Thank you very much. But the news is bittersweet for owner Marie. Hi, Dandala. This is where I have to totally rely on, on you, Alex, because... I'm not going to be here, I don't think. I have to fly over to New Zealand. My mum's... My mother's dying. So, I fly out tomorrow morning. I'm staying there until she passes away, which is probably going to be within the next 48 hours, so I totally have to rely on you, Alex. And she'll be a bit well looked after with my friend Judith who's flying over from New Zealand to look after her for me. You take care of your mum. Yep. Judith and I can look after Greta. Obviously, we're going to let you know how we're going every day. Um, and when it's time for her to have the pups, we'll be there with her. Yep. 
I feel like I'm letting Greta down, but I'm not because I know that you're going to be there, so... Good girl. It breaks my heart to leave her, but it would break my heart more if I wasn't with my mum. The most important thing now is for you to be with your mum. Yeah, my mum was diagnosed a few weeks ago with terminal cancer, and there is not much hope of her lasting until the weekend. Marie, you know we're going to look, take really good care of her and look after her. Thanks, mate. <laughs> if Greta can just hold on till Tuesday, I'd be the happiest person in the world, but if she can't, she's in really good hands. I trust her with you. We could really start to see Greta deliver these puppies at any moment. And so I'm going to be there for her in every way that I can. You try and wait. Good girl. On the Gold Coast, the moment is finally here. After a long wait, Greta is in labour. Good girl. Oh, You're doing so well, Greta. And she's already delivered five of her 12 puppies. She just got into it and knew what to do, and off she went. Sadly, Ona Marie is in New Zealand to be with her terminally ill mother. So daughter Melanie and friend Judith have been on puppy watch. A little stressful. But me and Judith have been a good team, so it's been good. But with so many puppies expected through the night, they've called in vets Alex and Gerardo for much needed help. When I got the phone call, I turned to G and said, I promised Marie that I would be there, so let's go. Hello? Hello! Oh my goodness, it's all happening! <laughs> Hello! Sure wow. is. How many have we got so far? Three boys and two girls. Wonderful. Marie is going to be so excited. Are you cleaning your puppies already, Greta? Oh, she's just been amazing. She's just acing this. The licking that she does will encourage them to take breaths. Although Greta's doing an incredible job helping her puppies to breathe... And oh, then, and we've got some pushing there. She's feeling the strain of delivering such a big litter. And puppy number five is struggling. Yeah, this one's a bit blue, hey? Yeah, he's a bit quiet, that one. Yeah, I'm going to rub him before a bit. Yeah. She's a first-time mum. She's got a lot of puppies. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. <laughs> yeah, when they're born, their lungs are filled with fluid, so they have to quickly get rid of that fluid to try to then get air in their lungs. That's probably the reason why Mr Blue looks a little bit blue. A little bit blue, he actually. He looks a little bit blue. <laughs> Gerardo's vigorous rubbing works. It's better. Yeah, and I, I think there's another one on the way. Here we go, we've got a puppy. Puppy, good yeah. tail. Come on, push little darling. Oh, with good girl Greta. Puppy number six arrives, and it's a little boy. So this little pup's still got the placenta attached, but we're just going to let Greta have a good lick there. That's it. Suddenly, there's another surprise arrival. Ona Marie calling from New Zealand. Hey, Marie. We got six bundles of joy for you, Nana. You're doing a wonderful job. Greta gets all the credit. She's, she's doing all the hard work here. And I think there's another one on the way very shortly. Oh, yep, here we go. We got another one. Here we go. Yay! Wow. Marie has just been to her mother's funeral today. This would have to be one of the saddest days of Marie's life. But seeing these puppies being delivered, I think it's quite healing. Gosh, that one caught me completely by surprise. <laughs> An emotional Marie is overjoyed to witness the arrival of three more puppies. She doesn't seem to be having any problem at all. She's been great. But no one can relax just yet as a tenth puppy okay. arrives. I was going to give that to you. Up there. Okay. Okay. This Let's tiny that. puppy is in trouble. Very lively. Come on, sweetheart. I delivered the tenth pup, and I just know there's something wrong. Come on, breathe. Come on, little one. Hey. I just hope there's something we can do to bring this pup through. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. It's pretty sure we are trying, honey. So come on. Come on, beautiful boy. On the Gold Coast, Alex and partner Gerardo are helping to deliver Greta's pups. Nine have arrived safely, but the tenth is in serious trouble. Come on. 
The puppy's heartbeat is faint and it's not breathing. I really want to be able to save this little girl. I'm also aware that Marie's on, she's watching all of this. And I can only wonder what she must be going through at the moment. Is it not responding? No, so we do this for a while. Mm -hmm. G and Judith are working on this little pup, but I know from G's face that he's really not getting any response. It's no movement at all. We've lost the fight for this little girl. No, I'm sorry. We've lost one, Mary. I'm sorry. devastated, but we've got to get back to Greta because she's still got more puppies to deliver. Good girl. And she's going to need all the support she can get. Oh, that was a big push, that one. She's looking really tired, eh? I think she's given it everything to this point. Greta, you're a good girl, darling. This one's coming backwards. It's puppy number 11. Oh, that's the whole thing. No, there's not much movement. Come on, come on. All right, Droid, I'm going to hand this one to you. Ready? One, yep. two. Yep, you got to. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, hey. We got a light one. Yay. Listen to that, Dina. Can you hear that, Marie? Yeah, I can. He has a lot of strength in this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a great noise that is, hey? That's a relief to hear that. Nice pink little nose. Means she's taking lots of oxygen into her nice dry lungs, I think there's one more on the way, and I. We just need her to get this last one out. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, he's moving. He's moving, Marie. Lucky last. Pretty big for the last one. Aren't you? Six. It's a boy. <laughs> hey, that's your last baby. Good girl, Greta. The last puppies arrive. How's that little one going? Yes. And they look great. They're in good health. Greta, she looks tired. We're all pretty tired, actually. Very proud of Greta. She's a good mummy. You've done an awesome job, Alex and Gerardo. Mm -hmm. And Judith and Mouse. Thank you so much. I think we've all done a fantastic job, but the credit has to go to Greta. 11 of Greta's puppies have made it but they'll have to be closely monitored over the next few critical days to make sure they're healthy. You just come home safely, Nana, and your extended family will be waiting for you when you get here. <laughs> it's a big family. It sure is. You're going to be one busy Nana. Is your babies? Yes. And on the Gold Coast, Marie is now back from New Zealand and has her hands full helping Greta with her thriving family. Good babies. And they're about to get some very excited visitors. I'm really looking forward to seeing those puppies, honey. Yeah. Hello! <laughs> Alex and Gerardo are keen to see how the newly expanded family is doing. Oh, my goodness. Is that not the cutest thing? Gosh, she's so attentive, isn't she? She's doing a really good job. Greta looks fantastic. She's obviously loving her new mum life. She's looking after them. She's in there making sure they're OK. She just looks like she's born to do this. You smell like puppies. One of the things we wanted to do today was actually do a little health check on the pups, but once you see them walking around in their little crate, crawling around, making puppy sounds and suckling healthily, there's, there's nothing we needed to do. They just looked amazing. Now your eyes are open, there's no stopping you guys, I'm sure. I've seen lots of puppies born before, but these guys, this is really special because Marie's part of our family at the hospital and because I was part of bringing them into the world and seeing them now, it's a special moment. Hi, I'm Dr Danny Dusek. If you love our show and want to see more amazing stories from the Bondi Vet team, just hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you for our next video.